Right, hello everybody. I'm back again. It's uh, pretty late. It's uh, quarter past quarter past seven. Crikey, it's time to go indoors. Um, just giving you a little update on them youngins yesterday. That's my fault. I shouldn't have put them out, but I wanted to put them out yesterday because I couldn't put them out today, and then they can't go out tomorrow. And then Friday would have been the next day they could go out, but um, I don't know if I'll be putting them out now Friday. But anyway, as you know, we had two prints on the loft which were the youngest two prints and two reds were the youngest two reds as well which is i'm happy with that i'm not bothered about that that's okay but um but yeah look we, we have got some birds back look at that now the story is i got up this morning and i i quickly put out three old hens wrong two old hens and one one old cock they're here now and I got these birds down. I put these out at eight o'clock this morning. And I got these three birds. Yes, 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 yes. I got these three birds. All right, missus. I got these three birds down at half past five. Because uh, we was at the school, parents' evening, and I raced home for half five to see what was on the loft with these birds here. But there weren't nothing with them. But I dropped these at half past five and they were up at eight o'clock this morning. Bloody fantastic, just for these three. But anyway, so this morning, four reds flew over the loft at about half past seven, quarter to eight. So I dropped them four reds. Ten minutes later, a blue. Yeah, blue came. No, a blue. A blue was with the four. Actually, it was three reds and a blue. And then 10 minutes later, the other blue came home by itself. And then I haven't seen a feather since. But I went to work. I popped in my old man's on the way to work. He lived two miles down the road. And uh, I think it might have been that one there, actually. Or that one. It might have been that one. Uh, one of these. No, I'm telling a lie. This one here. Number 19. That was sitting on his shed with his racing pigeons. He said, I walked around the, around the corner of his conservatory. He said, have you got one of your pigeons on my shed? I went, oh yeah, that's mine. He said, bloody thing. He said, it flew over the house. He thought it was a half dead seagull flapping over the house. I said, yeah, that'd, that'd be mine. I went down to catch it. And that went up again with all his race pigeons. It flew around for another 10 minutes with his race pigeons. And then I, I caught it and boxed it up. So I've got the nest mate to that missing. All right, missus. I actually think it's a hen bird, so yeah. This is a cop bird. But yeah, so I've got that one back from the old man's this morning. Look at the stomach on that. They've had a full, full trolley, full trolley, full tray of food in here this morning. Look at the bulge on that, look. Look at that bulge on there. Like bloody tennis balls. Because they can't go out tomorrow. They're like bloody tennis balls. I just ripped the numbers down, so I'm not sure what ones are missing. But we'll have a look. I'll have a look later. But yeah, look, they're all full of food. And uh, so it is happy days again. But um, thanks for the comments. And I had a phone call from somebody else, another piece of furniture. Keith, he phoned me up and he said, Oh, Joe, why did you let, you let them out? And uh, we had a little chat and I said, Yeah, I let them out because I didn't think they were going to fly up very very far, which they didn't. But that bloody wind has picked up and that blew them away. And I think, actually, they weren't blown away too far, to be honest. For them four this morning to be flying around how they were, I reckon they just got blown down the road and they were sitting on the back of somebody's house, I reckon. But it's all speculation that we don't know, do we? But I'm glad I got them back. I've lost one or two. No big deal. So, so yeah, we are 10 high now, 10 in numbers, which is okay. They've had a big feed up. Um, the print, I sat in the basket most of the day, having to wonder what it had done wrong. But I don't think that was the birds wrong, that was me really. I shouldn't have, perhaps I shouldn't have put them out. 
Had I got the droppers out a bit earlier, they might have come over, but they were far, far behind them trees, weren't they? So it is what it is. And we have to crack on. I nearly packed up, but that's how it go. Right. I don't like the look at this one, look at this one. That was a bit smaller than this, that one, and it always looked a bit shitty, that one. Bet I lose it once these get going. But anyway, yeah, just a little update, everybody. Uh, once again, thanks for all the comments, and um, thanks a lot, and I'll see you later. Bye for now.